Hello again, um, another dark video in the dark and things because it's night and I haven't had a light bulb in my room for about a month, I've been resorting to candles and stuff and I've finally ran out, so, sort of light of the screen only, um, hair's all tied back, I've just been touching up the dye and stuff, um, yeah, shaving again now, mostly, except for the goatee, I'm thinking of going it back again, not sure why, just thinking about it. Kinda miss it. Um, I had something to say. I can't remember for like me what it was. Um, not remembering. I think. Um, okay gone this week, I have my psychiatric thing. Oh, doctors, right. Um, so I went to the doctor, and basically, the irony of it all, after finally giving up and deciding to try um, antidepressants for real, and actually go on them properly and things, the doctor turns around and says, no, that because I can't keep up um, a regular routine of taking them, that there's no point in me going on anything. And that since I've already tried what, one type of antidepressants, that there's no chance of, that there's no point on going on any others, which I think is what he said, which makes no sense to me, but whatever. I'm a doctor. Um, I do kind of trust him, as far as doctors go. He did put me on the therapy course again, which really it's not going to work because all they're going to do is tell me how to manage stuff the same way that I know how to now and also tell me um, try and tell me ugh, try and get me to explain why things suck for me and I already know why things suck for me so really all I can do is go in there tell them my life story and then, then have them say to me, so how can I help you? In which I reply, well, you can't. You know? I, I didn't, don't expect them to. That's why I wasn't going to go, but I figure I might as well play the game and turn up for a couple of meetings before saying that I've had enough. <coughs> um, what else has happened? I put on weight. I went over 10 stone again. And then I've lost it again, which, to be honest, I'm kind of happy for, because I didn't want to be going back over 10 stone too much. Um, I know most people would think it's low, but I have no muscle, seriously, and the BMI chart really is screwed up if you have too much muscle or not enough muscle. I have nowhere near enough muscle, so, you know, it is kind of screwed up for me that way, so I'm okay to be in the underneath ranges a bit. What else? Oh yes, the interview, the psychiatric interview thing. I had a, actually a cool doctor who had blue dreadlocks. It was quite nice. Um, you know, it was funny, I thought I would have to go in there and lie. But out of the ten points you need, I actually hit like twelve without really lying. I mean, things like um, my inability to have a driving, driving lessons anymore. I can't have uh, driving lessons because I stress out about them the whole week beforehand. Yeah. Um, so if I have a driving lesson every week, that means I'm stressed out every week all the time, constantly, because of it. So I stopped. And that uh, there's two points, you know, that's a fifth of the way there already. Um, and there's just several things like that, things that I didn't really think was such a big a deal, really kind of are a big deal. You know, if I was a regular normal person, I wouldn't be able to function at all like this. So, yeah. Um, there's also a bunch of crap that I'll save, I'll cut out for you about um, stuff going on with my friends who aren't my friends anymore, or whatever, I don't know anymore. Point is that they're out of my life, and I'm kind of accepting it now. Um, part of me wants to say that, you know, ooh, they were the ones who convinced me to trust people again, and then they screwed me over, I'm never going to trust anyone again, ever. 
you know, part of me wants to say that. But the truth is, I'll never change. I'm going to keep on trusting people blindly. And I'm going to keep on getting screwed over by people because of that. But the alternative is to become kind of bitter and not trust anyone. And I don't want that. You know? I would rather trust people and keep getting hurt. And hope that I come up, come up upon a few people who... You know, are nice to me. Which has got to happen, really, you know. I can't just go through my whole life encountering people who don't want to put any effort in. Excuse me, just need a drink. Also, I've discovered the beauty of backing things up to DVDs. Um, ten pound got me one hundred DVDs. That's four hundred gigathingies of disk space. That is like um, half of my space, you know, sort of backed up instantly, and it's amazing. Yeah, I really need to get with the times a bit quicker. I think. <coughs> um, aside from that, nothing much going on. Been stretching my ears. A bit, so I've got. I can't actually see. I've got a little star thing there. Yeah, you can. And here, I'm stretching to have a bigger thing. Anyway, I don't know. Just general piercing stuff going on. I've been wanting to stretch my ears for a couple of years, and um, at the advice of my piece, so I waited a year from having them pierced before I started stretching. And now I'm taking my time. Um, only going up one gauge per month. Although I kind of cheated because it's been a little bit over a month and I've taken this one from 2 millimeters to 4 millimeters. Yeah. And this one from 2 till it's like 4.5 kind of thing. Maybe 5. But I'm taking it fairly slowly. Um, I'm not forcing them or anything. And I only do try and see if they go any further, like every couple of weeks or something. So, yeah. I wish I had something more interesting to say about really. But no, just another generic blog thingy. <coughs> I haven't done a music thing for a while actually. Your ears maybe you are recovering from that. Anyway, I should probably go, because this has probably been ten minutes, and I have stuff to do, you know. I really don't. That was a blatant lie. Could like some incense, so I'm going to go do that. So, goodbye. I'm going to see to my incense. <laughs>